local perspective on the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Corey Amsler, Vice President of Collections and Interpretation for the Mercer Museum. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, Good to see you. Thank you for having me. We're talking about your exhibit. It's called Turning Point, Civil War 1863-1864. This exhibit does many things, including allowing us the opportunity to see part of your permanent collection for the first time. Right. I mean, the Mercer Museum in Doylestown is known in some ways for its tool collections and technology collections, but we're also a local history museum. And so as, as a repository of Bucks County material, we have an enormous collection of artifacts, graphical materials related to Bucks County, and in this case, related to the Civil War and Bucks County's experiences in the Civil War. A lot of that material has not been on exhibit in a number of years, or perhaps hasn't been seen by anyone alive today. Uh, and uh, so this is an opportunity to get some of that material on view. And in terms of the artifacts, there are a wide variety of things that we can see. Obviously, things related to the military, but things related uh, to other uh, parts of people's lives, too, things like flags or personal items. Right. Yeah, I mean, the exhibit goes well beyond just the military aspects of the Civil War. The exhibit really is looking at Bucks County's experiences or the experience of Bucks Countyans during the war years and particularly during the most pivotal years of the war, 1863 and 1864. Um, so the collections that we're exhibiting certainly are the, the militaria, um, but also materials related to the home front, uh, political objects, uh, objects of uh, women's role during the war, uh, objects related to um, uh, sort of everyday life uh, in, uh, in that time frame. And let's focus on some of the personal stories because this is part of the unique aspect of this exhibit in that you're telling a Bucks County story and many people don't realize how this war impacted everyone in their daily lives regardless really of where they live. Right. And that's what really is the is the driving force behind this exhibit is the personal stories. I mean there are big issues that just like today big issues that people are facing that the country is facing but when you boil it down it boils down to a lot of choices that individuals are making as they sort of negotiate and navigate what was arguably one of the most difficult periods in American history and uh, and so there's a lot of stories that are bound up in the exhibit stories of fugitive slaves stories of, of women who became freedmen school teachers and went south during the war uh, stories of, of Quakers uh, wrestling with their pacifism on the one hand and doctrine of non-resistance but the desire to end slavery on the other and and the, and the struggle that they went through in deciding to re-enlist or to enlist um, so there are a lot of those very personal stories uh, expressed in photographs, expressed in artifacts, expressed in letters, um, including uh, audio. We're using audio in the exhibit. And uh, some of those images are of Bucks County residents that, that lived here 150 years ago. Yeah, I mean, again, the reference point is Bucks County and sort of the nearby Delaware Valley. Um, so most of the individuals whose stories appear and who appear as people, real people, uh, in the exhibition um, uh, are, uh, are local folks from Bucks, Montgomery, and even in some cases over the river into New Jersey. I want to quickly get to some of the other things happening. Kids will have the opportunity to try a replica of a, a soldier's uniform. You have other interactive uh, activities as part of this exhibit, including the opportunity to cast a vote in the 1864 election. Lincoln lost Bucks County. He did, yeah, he did. I and mean, there's, there's, this is an exhibit that really has aspects for the entire family. Adults are going to find you know, deeper meaning in the exhibit, but kids are going to have fun, too, with some of the interactives. Uh, but you're absolutely right. If it had been up to Bucks County in 1864, Lincoln would not have been reelected, and we would have had a very different America. Thanks so much for being with us. And as part of this exhibit, you're having a lecture series, genealogy workshops, and a Civil War appraisal day as well. And we can visit your website for all that information. Absolutely. Thanks. We've been talking with Corey Ansler. I'm Jill Horner.